Hey guys, welcome to another recipe. Today we're going to be making chocolate marbled banana bread. It's pretty fairly easy, same thing as the last banana bread, just we're adding chocolate to it. So, with further ado, let's get started. So you're going to want to start with three very ripe bananas. I usually like to wait until they're very, very, very like brown and then use them because they're sweeter. And then mash them up. Once you got them all mashed, add your butter, baking soda, sugar, and your flax egg. And also your vanilla. I also noticed if you use baking powder instead of baking soda, it will be more dense. So if you want to mix up those two ratios of your baking soda to create something more dense or more fluffy, adjust as you want. Then you're going to want to add your flour. Mix it all up. Once it's all mixed together, you're going to want to take about one cup and put it in another bowl. This is the one we're going to use with our chocolate. So with that, we're going to want to warm up some hot water. While the water's boiling, you're going to want to prepare your chocolate by adding chocolate chips to a glass container and adding some cocoa powder. I found if you do cocoa powder before, you're going to have to add butter, so save that until you actually mix it into the batter. But if you're going to do it like me, add it before and add some butter. And then with the hot water, you're going to put it into another container and you're going to just melt the chocolate and this will prevent it from getting burnt. And it'll start thickening and loosening up and then once it's all mixed together, you're going to want to mix it into that one cup of chocolate. And once you're done with that, you're going to want to alternate dollops of chocolate and regular banana. Chocolate and regular banana and you're going to want to kind of sporadically place them. Once you're done with that, shake it down pound it down on your counter and then use a toothpick or your knife and create swirls you don't want to run your knife through it too much and then bake it at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes and this is what you get if you guys haven't already i hope you guys like this video and subscribe because you'll see more of these and what i eat videos and next week we'll be making a no-bake pumpkin pie. So stick around for next week Saturday and I'll see you then. Until next time, see ya!